Welcome back to another episode of Unseasoned Outdoors. It is the morning of April 16th and I'm out on some public land seeing if I can hear any turkeys go or see any deer sign just kind of out here enjoying the morning. Turkey season is right around the corner here in Michigan. It opens up this weekend so I know a bunch of us are going to be hunting. I'm personally going to be filming my roommate Nathan and a couple of our buddies over on the east side of the state. Um, Hunter's going to be hunting as well and then Lance is going to be out the whole entire second weekend. That's when he was able to get off work. So. Um, make sure you guys follow along and stay tuned on hopefully any turkey kills we have throughout the spring. We should be, uh, with any luck, posting some pretty cool videos and we're really looking forward to that. On today's video, I want to take the opportunity and show a hunt that hasn't been posted anywhere yet just to scratch that deer itch a little bit. I know deer season's always kind of living in the back of our minds personally. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the viewers as well. This is a hunt that I was able to film Carson Christensen from Tagum Outdoors. Um, he was the other intern with me with Hoyt's Bow Hunting Whitetails last fall. I was able to film him shoot a doe on kind of a, a stress-free, just relaxed hunt that we went out in the woods and tried to get some meat for his family and it was a lot of fun. So just wanted another excuse to post a fun deer hunt from the fall and uh, that'll wrap up any deer content we have as we roll into turkey season. So good luck out there turkey hunting and uh, send us your pictures. and on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Have some fun enjoying the spring thunder. Today is November 21st. Alex and I came back out here on an evening hunt to try to fill a doe tag. Um, I didn't really feel like hanging a stand tonight, so I decided to climb this old ladder stand that was in front of a camera that I had set up here about a week ago. Um, it seemed like there were pretty good uh, daylight activity on that camera, but I haven't had the camera out here in like a week, so I don't really know what's coming by here. Um, the stand is kind of open. It's about 12 feet off the ground. We're gonna have to make sure our, our movement is limited, but we're gonna sit tight here for the next hour and a half we are late because we uh, decided that we were going to try to hunt on the ground tonight and we got to the spot where we were and there was a blood trail there already from this morning. So we had to go to the other side of the farm and hope that this spot pays off. We'll see. Tagged up, baby. That happened pretty quick. Whew. We had that fawn come in. And I think the other doe that was with that fawn worked her way up to that cornfield. And then we had another doe come up from behind us and work her way off. And about 15 minutes after we had saw those couple deer, another doe started coming from behind us. And it was kind of a hurry up and get ready type of type of deal and I thought she was gonna actually go up to the field like all the other deer had and uh, you know I was just patient and waited till she finally presented a shot and it was about 23 yards and smoked her arrow passed right through I saw her go down about 60 70 yards so it's still early enough in the afternoon that we're gonna pack our stuff up and get the work done before it gets dark. 
go follow us a blood trail. Nothing better than a bubbly, blood-soaked arrow.